Nick Carver here with a quick digital photography tip for you. My apologies to the film fans out there. I got something coming for you real soon. But today we're talking digital. So the topic of this video presentation has to do with white balance. And specifically, why the auto white balance setting can sometimes result in diminished colors in your photos. So the way auto white balance works is it looks at your photo and it tries to determine if there's too much of one color. If it sees too much of one color, it assumes that that's a color cast coming from a light source that you don't want. So for instance, if you're indoors shooting under incandescent lighting, those lights put out a really strong yellowish orange tone. So the auto white balance, seeing the excessive yellow orange, says we don't want that, so it floods the picture with blue, and then the yellow gets canceled out and you should get accurate colors. So auto white balance tends to work pretty well in many situations. But the problem with auto white balance is it doesn't know the color cast you want versus the color cast you don't want. So the color cast from the incandescent lighting is a color cast you don't want. But let's say you're shooting fall color. Now fall color has really strong yellow tones for instance and that's a color cast you actually want. So when you're on auto white balance uh, setting like we see in this photo here, this was taken on auto white balance, the camera sees all the yellow in the leaves and it says, well that's too much yellow. So it floods the picture with blue to try and neutralize it. Because again, the camera doesn't know the difference between a color cast from your subject and a color cast from the light source. So on auto white balance setting, it kind of ruins the yellows in these pictures. So instead of auto white balance, if I had shot it on the correct setting, which is cloudy, because that's the weather I was under, it was a cloudy day, I get more accurate colors now. The auto white balance setting tried to kill the yellow, so an accurate white balance setting of cloudy in this particular situation gave me much better colors. Here's another fall color situation where the camera's uh, auto white balance setting saw a bunch of yellow and it said, that's way too much yellow, floods the picture with blue, and then we get this really ridiculous looking picture where it's just too much blue and the yellows get toned down too much. So I'm going to put it on the correct white balance setting, which in this case was daylight, and I get accurate colors. The next one here, again, the camera saw all the fall color and it said, well, that's way too much yellow. So it flooded the picture with blue and the yellows get toned down. So I'm going to take the white balance to the correct setting, which is shade, because this was in the shade of a valley. Put it on shade and I get my accurate colors. Another common situation is when you're photographing a sunset. So you're photographing a sunset and the whole reason you're down there shooting the sunset is because of the oranges and yellows you get in the sky. Same thing with sunrise, by the way. So you're there to capture the oranges and yellows. But the auto white balance sees all the orange and yellow and it says, that's way too much, adds a bunch of blue, and then your sunset suddenly isn't so colorful anymore. So I'm going to put it on the right setting here, which is daylight. And then I get much more accurate colors. I could even take this a step further and put it on cloudy, which is going to add even more yellow tones. And the picture gets even more yellow. I could get real crazy and put it on shade, and then it looks really orangish yellow, but I think that's a little too much. I'm going to put it back on daylight. But the bottom line is, on auto white balance, the camera can get confused between color casts you want and color casts you don't want. So if you're going for really accurate colors, and especially if you're shooting something that has a particularly strong color cast in it, don't use auto white balance because it's probably going to try and neutralize those colors. Instead, use the correct white balance setting for the light you're under. Daylight on daylight, shade and shade, so on and so on. Or make it easy on yourself, just shoot in raw, and then put it in Lightroom and adjust the white balance yourself like I did on the screen here. But that's your quick digital photography tip for you. Next time you're out there, pay real close attention to the white balance. Thanks for watching, and if you want to see this stuff written up in writing, uh, head over to the link in the description of this video, and uh, I'll see you next time.